Oh, his voice. Sin? Oh no! What? There's a sin. He's sin. Wait, he's sin. Okay, wait. Hold on. No fucking way. I didn't do it fast enough. I'm fucking. I'm drooling. No way this is Sid. No fucking way this is Sid. Yo, fucking Sid. No Fuck. fucking way. Fuck. <sighs> okay, wait. Hold on. This is actually a problem. Did you say that's the same voice actor as Lorthar? Lorath? Wait, are we talking about... We're talking about the bad guy, the wolf, the wolf in Diablo. Not, we're not talking about that one, right? Different person, thank God, because I absolutely wanted to do it with the wolf, so <laughs> that might have been bad. Just checking. Oh God. Ascendant, Ascendant Kings, welcome back. Just checking. All right, we have the Kingdom of Wallowid. The sole surviving nation in Ash. Wallowed has its capital in Stronier, home to the Mother Crystal of Drake's Spine. A warlike land, its considerable military might serves to keep neighboring countries at bay. <clears throat> While Wallowed does maintain a notional alliance with the Dalmakian Republic in Southern Storm and it's very much a marriage of convenience. What's that meeting? Benedicta Harman, commander of the Kingdom of Valod's elite intelligences, who sits by her liege's side at the highest tables of state. Most recently in her negotiations with the Domex at the Zirnitria stronghold. But Barnabas is not the only one with whom she shares a special bond. Benedicta also has eyes and ambitions for Hugo Hupka. Hugo, dear, my proud desert lion. Would that you had taken care when chasing the hare. I expected more from the mighty Titan. You put the Ice Queen on her back. No doubt. But you'll have to work harder if you're There's no way this Sid is fucking Ramu. No fucking way. The thunder. We'll be hearing more soon enough. You always were a fucking snake, Sid. Gather the men. We have work to do. Baby. And who's this fine hound I see before me? Speaking of worst two weeks. A fine hound who saved your life, that's who. Oh my god. Oh my god. Torgal. Hi. His name is Torgal. You two acquainted. Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hand. We get Torgal back? Really? Siddle, Siddle, first Tel Telamon. 
Cornered by a battalion of Iron Kingdom Crusaders in the depths of the Nysa Defile, Clive thought his end was nigh, until Sid appeared and spirited him and Jill away to his secret hideaway in the Deadlands. Torgo, my boy! Clive's faithful friend, now fully grown, after the tragic events at Phoenix Gate, Clive believed that Torgal was lost to him forever. However, the paths were to cross again some 13 years later when Torgal's new master, Sid, came to Clive's rescue in the depths of the Nice Defile. Despite their long years apart, the two knew each other as if not a single day had passed since their separation. Funny. I'd always pictured you as more the chocobo type. Clive Rosfield. Oh, wait, holy shit. Don't look at me like that. Oh, stop. Ooh. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. Mm. I'd heard rumors that you'd survived, but I never paid them much heed. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. <sighs> None the worse for wear. Still, might be best to get a second opinion. Back <sighs> her up. No, he is yet. Goats. One of Sid's trusted allies, a gentle giant who has a warm word for everyone. No. Oh. Not another step. <laughs> I mean it. Oh, well, thank you so much for putting this up. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. It's all right. Oh, oh. oh what a sweetie! You're welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? Uh, Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping it would be Biggs or Wedge, but I think they probably need to be together. I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. Where's Tui? What the fuck? Hi, Torgo, my friend. Yeah, Waifu's Jill, our, our uh, long-ago friend in the castle. 